2023 is here and I want you to be the best smelling guy in the room. And the thing is, there are so many fragrances out there in the market right now that it can be challenging, right, to find something that works for you. So coming from a guy that owns over 100 fragrances, I want to list the 10 best options for this year. You simply can't go wrong with any of these. And yes, I will be listing all of them in a the description below to make it easy for you guys to get your favorites, starting with number one, Tom Ford Noir Extreme Parfum. Whew, it's like a gold bar, man. This thing is a beauty. Look at that. Look at that reflection. Look how nice this is. And it smells incredible. It smells like the original Noir Extreme, which is absolutely beautiful already. I have it. I love it. But it's a tad less sweet and more smoky more leathery, which means more masculine. It's an amber vanilla fragrance for men, but because of the vanilla, I would say that some women might even like to wear this if they like something a little bit heavier. Now, besides the beautiful amber vanilla smoky scent, which sounds pretty amazing, right? What I love about this fragrance is the fact that it will stay on your skin for a very long time. You can spray it before you go out and not have to worry about the scent just fading away pretty quickly. Oh man, it's, it's so good. I'm gonna link it below. I'm sure you guys are gonna love this one. Next up for 2023, I would say Hermes H24 is still gonna be very, very hot. As you can see, mine is almost done. It's a, it's a new fragrance. It just came out recently. It's very fresh. It's this blend of floral and woodsy notes, and it creates this really great balance of freshness and warmth, which is pretty hard to get. You know, it's not really an easy combination because freshness tends to be a little bit more sharp and then warmth is just a little bit more laid back and easygoing. So it's a perfect scent for spring and summertime. Make sure to add it to your list so that you can get it before springtime. And honestly, I cannot wait for spring because your boy is gonna be wearing this a lot. Next on the list, Parfum de Marley Haltain. This is for guys who want to make a statement. It's very rich. Like you spray this on and immediately you get this very complex scent and I love it. It's so good. It's so good. It's got a hint of spicy cinnamon and it's a, the sweet vanilla that uh, it's just amazing, man. The ladies love this too. My girlfriend loves it when I wear it. Uh, I get compliments from my friends. It's the perfect fall and winter scent. So if you're looking for something right now, at this moment, this is the scent that you want to get. Now, the only problem is that Perfume de Marley can get pricey and this 4.2 ounce bottle here is gonna set you back 400 bucks. So, you know, definitely not for everyone. If you're starting off your fragrance collection right now, Probably best for you to start with something a little bit more affordable before getting this one here. Next, my baby. Wow, I love the scent. Woo! <laughs> goosebumps, man. I'm not gonna lie. I got goosebumps ah, just from smelling this thing. This is the cleanest scent that I've ever smelled. It's fresh. It's sharp. It's, um, does that make sense when it's sharp? Like it's not a soft, soothing scent. It's like, it's pretty in your face, but it's clean. It's the kind of scent that a boss would wear, an elegant man. It is such an incredible scent. And I love this for any time I dress up, especially in a suit, if you're going to a wedding, ah, a New Year's party, like th this is it. This is the one. Next up, Armani Code Parfum. And honestly, I think the scent is underrated. I think this could be a really good signature scent for you guys who don't really know what to get yet. You know, like you don't really have a signature scent. You need something that's good, something that is long lasting, something that's not boring, but not crazy, not, you know, in your face. It's not loud, but it is gonna last you all day long. It's so fresh, it's so clean. Reminds me a little bit of Prada Lome, but it's got more intricacies to it. It's a little different. It's not as clean. It's not as sharp. It has a warmer dry down than Prada Lome. It's nice and sweet. It's not crazy expensive like, you know, Creed or Perfumed Mali. And honestly, I think you guys will really enjoy the scent. So if you're looking for a signature scent, Armani Code Parfum is a great option. Speaking of Creed prices, just because it's expensive doesn't mean that it's not good. It is. Legendary. Creed Aventus is timeless. It's sophisticated. I mean, you can wear this to pretty much anything, day or night, and it's going to make you smell amazing. Amazing. Is it worth 400 bucks? That's the question that I get the most when I talk about Creed, when I talk about Aventus. In my opinion, yes. I'm a fragrance collector though. I have so, I have over a hundred fragrances. Of course it's worth it to me, but is it worth it to a guy who only has three fragrances? And honestly, I would say yes. I would say this can be one of your three fragrances. It is such an amazing fragrance and you can save it for special occasions if you want, but it's the type of fragrance that you can also wear to go get groceries, man. Like it's, it's so versatile and it's so, so good. It has notes of bergamot, 
pineapple and birch, which sounds weird, but together, it just works. I wear this one all the time. This is a 10 year anniversary bottle. The normal bottle looks like this. And um, this is almost done, which is annoying because I really love it. And I, I really like this bottle too. Tom Ford Ombre Leather Parfum. One of the best leather fragrances out there right now. And there's a ton of them. There's a ton of leather fragrances out there. This one specifically, I just think it hits different. It's a sweet leather scent. It's beautiful. It is so, so good. I got goosebumps for the second time in this video. It's, had, it's like this unique blend of leather, cardamom, oud, amber. You know, it's really masculine. It doesn't smell like a dirty old leather jacket though. It smells more like a brand new designer leather jacket, you know? This is a scent that I wear a lot. This is a scent that I wear when I go out. This is a scent that I definitely wear when I uh, throw on a leather jacket, when I have an edgier outfit on, when I'm trying to commend presence, when I'm trying to be like, I am here. I have arrived. This is the scent that you want. If you're going to a party, if you're going to a, an event where you want to stand out, where you want people to be like, damn, that's a fragrance. This is the one. This, this little guy right here packs a punch and it lasts a while. Like literally I can smell this on my clothes the day after I sprayed it. The other day I picked up a sweater and I was like, wow. Tom Ford Ombre Leather Parfum. I can still smell it from last night. Aqua Di Gio Profumo. This is a beautiful, beautiful scent. Now, I'm a huge fan of Aqua Di Gio, the original. That was my favorite fragrance. It was my first fragrance ever, actually, when I was a, when I was a teenager, my mom gave it to me. And so this holds a special place in my heart. But this version here is more elegant. It's more grown up. It's more, I would say, classy, right? Um, I think it's because of this peppery kind of note that has been added to it instead of the more like, you know, aquatic oceany vibe of Aqua Di Gio. This has more pepper to it. <laughs> so it's more grown up. It's definitely for men, not for teenagers. I think this here is great if you're a boss, if you work in an office or if you're not a boss, but you work in an office. Honestly, a great scent for the office, for a professional setting in general. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, This you can wear this year round. You can wear it year round and it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. It's a little heavier than Aqua Di Gio, but that's what it's all about. This next fragrance, it is boozy. It's beautiful. It's grown up. This is Givenchy, Gentleman Reserve. This is another one that like Aqua Di Gio Profumo, it's not for boys, it's not for teenagers. It's definitely more for men because of that boozy, sexy, moody, scent you know what i'm saying like you go to an upscale lounge you're drinking you know sipping on some whiskey maybe smoking a cigar or maybe not don't smoke it's bad for you it smells incredible regardless and i think it's an amazing fall winter scent but i will say aqua de joe profumo is an incredible scent hence why the sales are so high why it sells so well this may be less so but unique Beautiful, boozy. I love, I love the resemblance to like whiskey, and I, I really like the scent. It's a uh, goes really well with the sweater. Kind of gives it, you know, this is the vibe for the scent right here. Now on the opposite side of the spectrum, we have Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue Intense, which is the perfect summer fragrance, hands down. I mean, this might be the best, the greatest hot weather scent of all time. It's just ugh, it smells like I'm on a boat. It smells like you know I got a yacht and I'm just chilling in the middle of the ocean. There's a nice little cool breeze coming in and it's beautiful. And you, immediately you think of Italy, you know, south of Italy on the Amalfi Coast, uh, Capri, like this is what you think of. And even the ads are probably shot there, right? The Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense is a beautiful scent, highly recommended. And all of these scents are gonna be listed in the description below. So make sure to go check them out. Now, if you're a teenager watching this and you want options just for you to wear to school, to see some friends, Highly recommend you watch this video right here. It's a list of Cologne's 14s. So go check it out. And guys, you can see all of these fragrances listed in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon.